The application of mineral stains is a quick and direct method for identifying minerals in thin section. Staining highlights target minerals that may be petrographically diagnostic in classifying a rock or understanding its history. This information can also serve as a prerequisite for more advanced quantitative microanalysis performed on polished thin sections. The staining procedure is straightforward and similar for all types of stains. Protective equipment and caution is essential, as some of the chemical components are very dangerous. The first step is to calibrate and mix a chemical solution or reagent that will react with the desired mineral. Next, the reagent is applied to the section, the solution is poured into a well, and sections are submerged. When the calibrated reaction time is complete, the reaction is stopped by rinsing underwater. Stained sections are dried, then cover glass to preserve the stain and improve optical clarity. Spectrum offers four stains for two important mineral groups. Felspar stains discriminate between potassium felspar, plagioclase, and quartz. Most igneous rock classifications rely upon the proportions of these three minerals, which are all colorless and have similar relief in thin section. K-stain tints potassium-bearing felspars yellow. P-stain tints the calcium-bearing in-member anorthite red. If necessary, K and P stains can be used together. Carbonate stains discriminate between the main categories of abundant carbonate minerals. C stain tints calcite red. This offers distinction from the magnesium bearing carbonate dolomite, which does not stain. F stain tints ferrous iron blue. The presence of iron may be indicative of unusual hydrothermal alteration. The combination of C and F stains can offer additional clues about formation conditions. Questions about how stains could assist your research? Find us online at petrography.com.